Hey, bro, this is cool now, but the movie just came out. How are you getting these clips? Don't, Don't worry about, about it. it. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. So it starts off with Pony Cage, and I'm starting to realize that there is a common reoccurrence of characters being locked up in these movies. This is the third time in this movie alone that someone has been behind bars. I'm so confused. They got Poe locked up, but EDP is out here signing for kick. And to make it even worse, he got hit with a top 10 fictional betrayal. I've been watching this like, hold on. I did the same thing to the Soul Society. Shen took Uguay's staff and handed it to the chameleon. And look at the way she disappears into the shadows. Like, bro, we can see you. So Poe breaks out by going under the cage and falls into a den of evil guards. And even though he's built like Thor in Endgame, he's out here moving like Shadow, using their heads as a transition. Oh, no. Nah. A cutscene with a dose of CTE has to be a crime. And that inner peace helped him unlock Ultra Instinct. He's out here moving crazy. One of the guards try to scream at him, but he shuts him up, grabs him by the tail, and does him like the four foot tall gremlin known as Kai Sanat. Spins him around and pinballs the rest of them. It was so embarrassing they got pissed, and I don't blame them. One IG post and their street cred is terminated. Even Ten Ten sorry ass gonna be the comments trolling. Might as well retire if she's out here calling you useless. Shen pulls up on him and he's demanding for his staff back. And while he's walking up to her, we see someone swing in the background. Oh, oh. <laughs> no. Nah. I'm sitting here like, what? what? Oh, the, the deception. deception. The betrayal. Betrayal, man. You deceived me. He's out here getting done just like me when I was watching at Kamiga Gil. Got his staff took. Turns out Shen was against him the whole time. And now bro isn't even talking to the right person. This shit crazy. No wonder Shifu was telling him to hang up the boots. I would too. This amount of deception has to be illegal. Poe gets pushed off the bridge. Now I'm really scared for him. He's got a whole cushion on the front side of his body that was soft in the fall. But instead, he grabs onto the branch and gets attacked by Cuffin. Oh my gosh, that's the ugliest thing in the world. His dad saw that and told the nigga to get off. Tap dance on this man's head and told bro to go back to where you came from, off this planet. E.T. wants his brother back. Anyways, he gets put into an unskippable cutscene where he has to listen to his parents. You know when you be trying to tell your parents a funny story and they turn it into a life lesson? Yeah, that's what this shit felt like. Put me right to sleep. I'm watching this one not a shred of a care for what I'm seeing. You already know what I came here for. And this is when he shows up. I had to put on my glasses to really be able to see this glorious moment. We finally see the chameleon opening the gate talking about some. <laughs> And we see him pull up, falling like he KSI. He hits the poles and I've been waiting for this. Hey, where that fraud at? Oh, you saw that too? Shit crazy. MJ really don't got a left hand. No nigga, where the panda at? She ain't like the way he was talking to her, so he tried to jump him. And after not seeing him on the big screen for over a decade, you already know I had high hopes for my fantabulous king. We see him posing for the toughest IG post I've ever seen. With the caption talking about how there is a weird amount of orphans in these movies. Sounding like Solo Munai yeah, talking about chicken sandwiches. Per year. What do y'all think happened to these kids? And every time people come up missing, the more and more people come up missing, the more they release more chicken sandwiches and shit. I'm noticing that. Got me wondering why so many of these kids getting abandoned. But he starts to cook, grabs his spear and pushes one back to that hit that no look kick to punt the other one away. Someone got the bright idea of running up to him like Sasuke just to get slashed back to where he came from. He had to do a backflip celebration to then wipe the floor with these niggas. He's looking down like, nah, I really like that. Grabs these two by the tail and throws the trash ass away and kicks this nigga onto his back. Now let me try at entrance. Bro's a certified dumbass. Talong proceeds to go into his bag and has this man spazzing, looking like he just got tased. The chameleon saw this and she was not impressed. She just saw a McDonald's warrior in a panda suit full 20 guards. Even for a sorcerer like her, that shit not normal, bruh. Move the guards try to jump him and he starts running across their heads. <laughs> And wait, how many spins is that? One, two, three, four. He lands and you can tell he's feeling like Braun. This is his comeback arc. Someone else gets up and Tai Long tries to take off their head just for them to shape shift into the chameleon. And bro, this shit is not fair. She's out here going from Kevin Hart to Kai Sanat. It's not much of a difference, but that still ain't right. She grabs a hold of him and takes his kung fu and uses the cheat code to turn into him and put him out of commission. And once again, they got him locked up in a cell. They had him trained up like the nine tails. And now he's sitting in another cage. I know bro is sick to his stomach out here getting done dirty. And hold up. Let me cook. They couldn't have gave bro more screen time. This fight was like 30 seconds. You're telling me that I went to this movie just for my goal to get folded faster than this? <laughs> Megumi, Tai Long, MCU Hulk. I swear anytime I think these characters are about to cook, the writers say, nah, fuck that, and violate them. So Shen runs up the post trying to be all friendly, acting like she ain't just forget about him and treat him like trash. Poe sees her and literally just walks past her. And I started writing that down. This is elite. Charlie tried to spin back and he said, nah, ho, go home. I didn't know Poe had it in him. But then they start fighting. And bro, ain't nobody skip, care about skip. this. So Poe pulls up on a chameleon talking about, I heard you were camouflaging during recess, hiding because the kids are calling you a more human version of Sexy Red. You don't deserve the staff of wisdom. Give it back. And she actually gives him the staff. And I'm confused, just like Poe. A nigga like me, I'm a Hall of Fame instigator. Always gotta hit him with the me personally, just to spice things up. So if I was a chameleon, I'm giving the staff right back to Jen and telling Poe this was her idea the entire time. But Poe starts giving his inspirational speech talking about real change happens from within. 
Oh, brother, this guy stinks. And I'm like, damn. Uwe couldn't have left the nigga with a book of quotes. He's been struggling to say some shit this whole movie. He was dead ass saying, when life gives you lemons, make pear juice. Like, bro, what does that even mean? I'm pretty sure he doesn't even eat fruits. He lives off of dumplings. He sound like Playboy Cardi just singing random shit on the beat. She turns into Shen and kicks him back. Had him talking to his inner Shifus. Hey, nigga, forget about all that inner peace stuff. Yeah, she out here transforming more than Megatron. Just beat her ass. He had to get back up just to get launched over and flash. Nudity in a kid's movie is crazy. He gets knocked in the face and they got Kai charging at him just to get weaved. But she ain't want to be on fraud watch. It gives him a two-piece combo to the face. He's closing his eyes, hoping we gonna jump through the screen to save him. Nah, nigga, you're on your own. Kai shows us his vert and tries to end Poe. And I'm really getting tired of this shit. She transforms into an elephant and starts swinging him around. He got up and hit the slide cancel while holding onto the trunk and got snapped back. You can see his spine making that elite C shape. How long do you think it would take Floyd Mayweather to figure out which letter this is? We see that the chameleon turned into a boar and they really start going hit for hit, but she not letting him think. She changes it into a wolf and... Hey yo, what the fuck? Gets kicked off and you can see the face of realization of what she just done. I know she smelled that butt ass. Butt ass. She turns into a bull and Poe flips her over and kicks her off. And this is when she turns into Tai Long and hit Poe with some of that PTSD. Makes his stomach jiggle like jelly and crash into the wall. And he's there on all fours out of breath just like Patrick. And while she's having her villain monologue chatting about how she's the strongest villain he's ever faced. Shen heard that blasphemy and had to shut that shit down and drops a huge statue on her. And this is where it starts to get stupid. It went from a fight about Kung Fu to the chameleon turning into a whole dragon. I don't know bro. It was already hard to watch with Aquafina in this bit. But now they've also completely given up on the script. I know he's a dragon warrior but come on bruh anyways Poe squares up with himself and they jump at each other shockwave and all getting knocked back and now Poe doesn't even have the staff he realizes this and starts to move on like officer earl hitting the jets but his clone jumps onto him trying to chomp his head off before getting launched back and she's just standing there menacingly standing there like captain america in infinity war oh no she even jumps up looking like toby Maguire in that one pick nigga it's not that serious she was even out there trying to tap dance on this man's head Poe got sick of that shit and they started boxing even got the cameraman working overtime hitting that michael jackson lean doing all this just to end up with back pain at the age of 25 is some heinous activity Poe manages to kick her in the air but she wraps her tongue around him and starts to play paddle ball got this man in an unblockable combo and starts swinging him around dragging him across the wall she then goes to her bag of infinite moves to pick out the fireball jutsu and sets the cage on fire Picks it up and booms the cage towards Poe. And you can tell the nigga has had enough of this. This Sakuna ass villain. I wouldn't be surprised if her next move is about to be plot armor or some shit. She's out here picking up the rubble, setting it on fire and hurling it at Poe. And he ends up getting trapped in the middle ball. Shen sees this and says, come on Poe, get out of there. As if the nigga hasn't tried that already. You think he's just in there for fun? Hey, whose man's is this? But she takes the staff and does some magic nonsense to defeat the chameleon. Poe gets out of the trap and finishes off the chameleon for good. And couldn't he have used that magic stuff since the beginning? Bro must have been holding that staff for decoration or something but right when he's sending everyone home we see that Tai Long went through his Vegeta character development arc this is a whole different nigga out here complimenting Poe I should have teared this is a beautiful stuff man and the movie ends off with Shen being declared the next dragon warrior I don't know if I agree with that I'm kind of on Shifu's side right now because I don't get it we sure Uwe can't come back and pick someone else and we see the Furious 5 for like five seconds they got Aquafina but couldn't spare some change to give Jackie Chan one line as monkey See my star shine like a diamond Can you move a son of a diamond Let me leave S.E.